Cancer. Good morning. Welcome to your reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. Okay. If you're looking for a career reading, this reading is not for you. It's a relationships reading. All right. If you're baffled by it or it doesn't resonate, okay, this reading is not for you. Having said that, I do do personal readings. The email is in the description box below. If you can't see it or it's not readily apparent, okay, just click the more button. Feel free to contact me for a personal reading. All right. So, what's going on with you? What is going on with you? What's approaching you? What or who is approaching you? Universe Spirits Guides, what is approaching my friends? Oh. It would seem the general consensus is one of abandonment. Okay, giving up. All right, because of a third party, because of too much pain. There's a very painful situation here. Maybe you live a very different lifestyle to this person. You grew up in very different environments, but there is a there is a passing phase between you two. Okay, it's a bit of a rough patch, but I'm getting here that on the positive side there is light at the end of the tunnel. You know, this five of pentacles is one of you know, a rough patch between you and somebody, okay, and there is a lot of worry involved, you know, a lot of tarot readers call this the worry card, but it's a passing phase, it's kind of like also producing an opportunity, which I'm getting a lot of you haven't got a lot of faith in, you've, lost, you've kind of lost faith in it, all right, Possibly because it's a third party situation. You may be dealing with somebody, one of you may be dealing with somebody who is ill, a parent or somebody. So it's very difficult to move forward. Okay, but let's get your energy. Angel Spirits Guides. The energy, please. What is your energy? Yeah, not surprising. Moving on. Moving on. Trying to escape from a situation. Possibly a marriage where you feel there's nothing left. Okay. But whatever it is, you're in the mode of trying to escape. Travel. Okay, could be difficult. All right, because of money worries. But uh, I'm kind of getting you're really seriously thinking on how to get practical with this situation. That's the good news. It's very slow moving energy, but I'm kind of getting your general energy is you're coming to terms very, very slowly with the past. You're making decisions now very, very positive towards this situation, towards this person. Okay, and they kind of getting they're not reacting very well to what you're doing what is their energy what is the energy of this person you're dealing with yeah they're not committed they're sort of half in half out could be Sagittarius you're dealing with. Don't worry if you're not there, but they're showing the energy of the Sagittarius. Okay, there's a very, very painful ending with this person. All right, they feel pinned down. They feel they can only offer you so much time together. You know, they perhaps feel they're in a situation that they don't really want to give up. They are in the energy of peace and harmony. All right. They do see kind of light at the end of the tunnel with you. Right, but I'm kind of getting it's on their terms. Wow. It would appear that given this energy, it's like they, there's been a big tower moment here, a very painful ending. 
They've waited till things have calmed down. Well, what is your feeling for this person? How do you feel about this person? Refusing to disclose. Ooh. You're being very logical at the moment with this sword energy. How do you feel about this person? Well, you do want a fresh start. But you kind of want to take a... You're taking a very different approach to this. A lot more light-hearted, in fact. Kind of getting a lot of you and not taking it as serious as what you did. All right. You're making positive changes in your life. Your, your individuality is coming through with this full card. There is the temptation to just jump in. I'm getting communication coming in and there is this temptation, but you're making very positive decisions about this. I'm kind of getting a lot of you are leaving this behind. You're making a complete new fresh start. Wow. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about you? They're being very self-protective. Like I said, they're waiting till things calm down. All right. They, they want to cling to their situation. This person could be a family person. They could have children. But they're clinging to their situation. They don't want to give it up. Or somebody wants to hold on to them. Uh, but they want to hold on to you. It would seem you're chasing a new dream. They're chasing you. What's your thoughts on this? What's your intention? What is your intention? Yeah, very defensive. Put your borders up. Wow. Protect yourself. They're protecting themselves and you're protecting yourselves. And you're very determined. This is one of determination. You could even block this person, but you're being very defensive. It's like you was leaving this person with your back to them. They connect with you or try to, and you turn around and say, talk to the hand. Wow. Sorry, the camera wobbled there. The computer's on a stand and it's a bit bit wobbly. My apologies. Yeah, it's like you said, turn around and say, talk to the hand. Wow, what is their intention? What is their intention? I try to jump. Wow, kind of surprise you. <sighs> You've rocked their world. And now they want to come in change, but they want to be self-protective. They're not willing to give up their present situation as yet. They want to see how things develop, but you've rocked their world. And they want to kind of change things even further. They want to put things right. They want to do things correct. Phew. Where's it leading to? This tower? Boy, have you impressed them? Maybe it's painful ending and it's it's kind of like the way you're responding to them now and your strength of character. It's like this person likes the thrill of the chase. Where's it leading to? Where's it leading to? Them knowing what they want and coming in. Right. Them opening up. 
they've realized that you're not going to chase them anymore. You, in fact, you're blocking them. You, you're doing the reverse. You're kind of saying, turn up to the hand. And that forces them to come in and try and break down your barriers. Now, whether you let them is a different kettle of fish. But this, this <laughs> it's a passing phase, you know. Surprise developments here. You know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm trying to keep this, this is much more deeper than what I'm telling you, this is complicated, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can for the sake of this video. But you've certainly catching their attention. Where they were sort of half committed, because they wouldn't give up their situation, they've realised because you've turned around and gone the other way, All right, they want to hang on to you, they've realised what you mean to them. Thanks very much for watching.